This is the Music History Today podcast for October 5th. On today's show, Steve Jobs passes away and leaves his mark on the music industry. Kelly Clarkson breaks a record and a star is born. First up, though, on this date in 1963, Little Richard started touring with the Everly Brothers. In 1966, Jimi Hendrix formed the Jimi Hendrix Experience. In 1968, Cream began their farewell tour in Oakland, California. They would reunite and do another tour decades later. In 1969, both Gladys Knight and the Pips and the Who separately performed on the Ed Sullivan TV show. In 1975, the original Whalers, Bob Marley, Bunny Whaler, and Peter Tosh, performed together for the last time. In 1978, Dolly Parton's Playboy magazine issue was published. No, she did not pose nude. She posed in a Playboy bunny outfit. In 2000, the Beatles released their autobiography, The Beatles Anthology. In 2001, singer Millie Corretier married boxer Oscar De La Hoya. In 2002, Kelly Clarkson's song A Moment Like This broke the record for the largest chart movement on the Billboard Singles Chart at the time when it went from number 52 to number 1 in one week. The record stood for five years until Maroon 5 went from number 64 to number 1 with It Makes Me Wonder. In 2016, the group SF9 was formed, and in 2018, the Bradley Cooper Lady Gaga version of the movie A Star is Born premiered in movie theaters. In classical music in 1762, Christoph Gluck's opera Orfeo ed Eurydice was performed for the first time, and in 1930, the New York Philharmonic Orchestra performed on the radio for the first time during a performance at Carnegie Hall in New York City. In theater, in 1944, the musical Bloomer Girl opened on Broadway. In 1950, the musical Pardon Our French opened on Broadway. And in 1977, the revival of the musical Hair opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on October 5th in 1994, Vince Gill and Pam Tillis were among the big winners at the Country Music Association Awards. Albums that were released on October 5th in the UK include in 1996 when Republica released their self-titled album and Ash released Nuclear Sounds. Meanwhile, in America, in 1968, Muddy Waters released Electric Mud. In 1970, Led Zeppelin released Led Zeppelin III. In 1973, Elton John released Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Brian Ferry released These Foolish Things. The Rolling Stones released No Stone Unturned. In 1979, The Police released Regatta de Blanc. Joe Jackson released I'm the Man. And The Who released the soundtrack to Quadrophenia. In 1980, Killing Joke released their self-titled album. In 1981, Depeche Mode released Speak and Spell, and Saxon released Denim and Leather. In 1984, the Jay Giles Band released You're Getting Even While I'm Getting Odd. In 1985, Mike and the Mechanics released their self-titled album. In 1987, Terrence Trent Darby released his groundbreaking album, Introducing the Hardline According to Terrence Trent Darby. Also on that same day, Belinda Carlisle released Heaven on Earth, and Leonard Skinner released Legend. In 1990, Roseanne Cash released Interiors, Galaxy 500 released This Is Our Music, and The Go-Go's released Greatest. In 1991, Heart released Rock the House Alive, and American Music Club released Everclear. In 1992, Bonnie Tyler released Angel Heart, and Susie and the Banshees released Twice Upon a Time, the singles. In 1993, the Afghan Whigs released Gentlemen, Belinda Carlisle released Real, Def Leppard released Retroactive, Red Cross released Phase Shifter, and Uncle Tupelo released Anodine. In 1999, Melissa Etheridge released Breakdown, Brenda Lee released Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, a re-release obviously because that came out decades earlier. XTC released Homespun and the band released The Best of the Band Volume 2. 
In 2004, R.E.M. released Around the Sun. Soul Asylum released After the Flood live from the Grand Forks Prom, June 28, 1997. And Korn released Greatest Hits, Volume 1. In 2006, Sunvolt released Okema and the Melody of Riot, and in 2012, The Stranglers released Giants. Singles that were released on October 5th include in 1962 when the Beatles did a twofer. They released Love Me Do and P.S. I Love You. In 1973, The Who released 515, and in 1979, The Cars released Double Life. Meanwhile, in America, in 1968, Cream released White Room. In 1970, Eric Clapton released his cover version of J.J. Cale's song, After Midnight. In 1976, the Doobie Brothers released It Keeps You Running. In 1979, Cool and the Gang released Ladies Night, and Queen released Crazy Little Thing Called Love. In 1981, U2 released Gloria. In 1982, The Time released Gigolos Get Lonely 2, and the Jay Giles Band released the live version of their song, I Do, which became a big hit. In 1983, Michael Jackson released PYT, Pretty Young Thing. In 1985, Phil Collins and Marilyn Martin released Separate Lives, which was the love theme from the movie The White Knights with Mikhail Baryshnikov and Gregory Hines and Isabella Rossellini. Little trivia there. In 1987, Sammy Hagar released Eagles Fly and Michael Jackson released Smooth Criminal. In 1991, John Mellencamp, then known as John Cougar Mellencamp, released Get a Leg Up. In 1992, Spin Doctors released Little Miss Can't Be Wrong. Also, The Cure released A Letter to Elise. In 1996, The Cardigans released Love Fool. In 2017, Charlie Puth released How Long. And in 2018, Pedro Capa and Faruco released the remix to the song Calma. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 5th include DJ and producer Dylan Francis, Brian Johnson of ACDC, whose life we touch briefly upon on this week's Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already on this channel that you are listening and or watching. Sir Bob Geldof of the Boomtown Rats and also of Live Aid fame, whose life we also touch upon. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer himself, Mr. Steve Miller. Kevin Olasola of Pentonix. Singer Brooke Valentine. Singer Geraldo Ortiz. Rapper SPM. Rapper Andrew Fontenot. Rapper YVN Tay. Singer Zhao Zan of X9, Paul Thomas of Good Charlotte, singer Heather Headley, David Bryson of The Counting Crows, country music singer B.W. Stevenson, Tall Ross of Funkadelic, Brian Connolly of Sweet, Richard Street of The Temptations, Carlo Mastrangelo of Dion and the Belmonts, country music singer Johnny Duncan, country music singer Margie Singleton, Fast Eddie Clark of Motorhead, and also the group Fastway. Sandra Puma Jones of Black Uhuru, Troy Lucetta of the group Tesla, Colin Melloy of the Decemberists, James Valentine of Maroon 5, Nicola Roberts of Girls Alive, Bahar Kazil of Montrose, Harold Faltemeyer, who had the hit Axel F off the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack, and Lee Thompson of Madness. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 5th include composer Pierre Manchicourt, who passed away in 1564 at the age of 54. Composer Daniel Spear passed away in 1707 at the age of 71. Composer Etienne Ozy passed away in 1813 at the age of 58. Composer Jacques Offenbach passed away in 1880 at the age of 61. 
concert promoter Paul Ackett passed away in 1992 at the age of 70. Trumpet player Nini Russo passed away in 1994 at the age of 68. Band leader Dick Jurgen passed away in 1995 at the age of 85. Singer Aldo Jones passed away from leukemia in 2001 at the age of 41. Singer Shirley Ellis passed away in 2005 at the age of 76. Steve Lee of Gothard passed away in 2010 at the age of 47. Ben Yanch of Pentagonal passed away in 2011 at the age of 67. The man who, musically speaking, helped to create iTunes, the iPod, and the iPhone, along with all the other Apple devices that you know and love and are probably listening to this podcast on right now, Apple co-founder and co-genius with Steve Wozniak, the Woz, Mr. Steve Jobs passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2011 at the age of 56. Entertainer Jeffrey Holder passed away in 2014 at the age of 84. Leonard Delaney of the Tornadoes passed away from Alzheimer's disease in 2014 at the age of 71. The singer with the Romanian National Opera from 1972 to 2012, Pompeju Harastinu, passed away in 2016 at the age of 81. Rock violinist Bobby Notkoff of the group Crazy Horse and also the group The Rockets passed away in 2018 at the age of 80. Larry Junstrom of 38 Special passed away in 2019 at the age of 70. And Metropolitan Opera singer Marcello Giordani passed away from heart issues in 2019 at the age of 56. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 6th when in 2020 the world lost legendary guitarist Eddie Van Halen. <laughs> 